What's up, everyone? It's Penny Wild, the Black Pen. We're coming from you from Vape Studios. Uh, shout out to Vusim Toi. Ipansula. We're in Spread View, Egu Ruleni. We haven't been here for a while, and I've actually really, really missed this place a lot. And the late Phineas. Uzwelake. Mlotwa. His uh, ball sack here. His right ball sack on my right, and his left ball sack. And then the rest of his ball sack all over the place. <laughs> Okay, handshake. Boom. <laughs> Penson, how you doing, bro? You cried. It's all right. No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm actually, I, I cry and I'm hurt. Um, I've, you know, I'm always injured. So. Oh, you mean hurt like physically, not physically. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I'm a thug. I'm a gangster. No, I mean, I'm hurt. I listen to this. Isn't it, son? You know. But when you right, when you right, when. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Rodman, Spusiso, Liope, Spuda, more fire. I uh, just want to say, look, I, I think we raised it last time on the last pen and pen. Sure. Just want to send a big shout out on the ShopRite Checkers deal, which was nine years in the making. And a big shout out on being the official sponsor of Miss South Africa. Mm. More Fire, Nusbu has said this on many platforms, is meant to be a protest uh, business endeavor. But more than that, for me, it's meant to be inspiration. For the young kid out there looking at all the energy drinks in the world and saying, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. And when I said 10 I was supposed to say, I was like, I'm going to make it happen right in front of your eyes and you will watch me. Mm. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, so many of us worship them and we see them. But there are young black kids, especially, who look at these guys and ask themselves, why not me? And I think that actually might be the story of Ukili Mbappe. A young boy who was like, I love Cristiano Ronaldo, I love Lionel Messi, but why not me? So to every one of you, to to thank you so much for the inspiration. And I hope for that for the rest of you who drink more fire or who at least are watching the story are inspired to see all the biggest brands and service industries in the world and be like, why not me? And then be inspired to do that. So thank you very much. Mo Fizzle. You're saying you're hurt. <laughs> Stop GPV. Stop beating our men. They are hurt. Stop hurting our men. As I'm thinking about if France will but France has are they not the third, if I'm not mistaken, ranked in, in the world in in terms of not the soccer, in terms of having the most um, Africans, the most inland uh, Immigrants? Immigrants? Not immigrants. Immigrants is such a lower level word. Tios? For us, it's I, Africans I, in the diaspora. Diaspora. For us, it's I diaspora. Diaspora. Well, we go. call them expats. expats. Hey, English. We you call know, the, when it's not a foreigner, it's a expat. Hey, no, I'm an immigrant. No, I'm an expat of uh, Spain. But like, it's, it's 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 absolutely crazy. I think they they ranked third, um, and then two is America, with one being Brazil, something along those lines. You know, so Mbappe it could be Killian. You know, it's a it's the story. It's the story of oh, of course, what was. It's the story of merit. It's definitely yeah. the story of merit. And I remember watching Living Lechaim and um, a Jewish, I think he's a rabbi. Mm. The rabbi was saying so many people accuse Jewish people of being good at business and various mm -hmm. spaces. Mm -hmm. No one has an issue with how many black Africans are in the NBA. Yeah. They good. So they there. It's like yeah. maybe we're good at business um, kind of situation. So merit. The reason France has got so many African players, the reason New Zealand, the New Zealand All Blacks has so many Polynesians, Samoans, Tongans, Fijians, is because of merit. Those guys are the best, number one. Mm. Then number two, there's a term called neo-colonialism, which is a new form of colonialism where you're not going into a country and bombs and slavery, yeah. but you are colonizing in a new way, like using debt, music, so some of these things, some people argue, are a form of neo-slavery. Got you. Where you're taking people from poor countries, sending them, them to, to first world countries to come and be labor, mm -hmm. to win you guys World Cups and those things. At least you pay them better. You're not whipping yeah. their backs. But yeah, man. But shout out to Mbappe. Shout out to... Look, shout out to every human being who is in a foreign country, in a foreign city, in a foreign space that is not their original home. And is there and is dominating even the people that are local because it means mm. you are hungrier. Penalism speaks about the foreigner mindset oh, sure. and uh, it's something dope. I mean, energy drinks. We weren't an energy drink people. Mm. It's a foreign concept. Uh, Sbu and the rest of the team at Morfire were like, why not get in there? Mm. Why not? And they did it. We're in podcasting now, which I don't think was born 
or made famous in South Africa, unlike Amapiano. But we're trying to conquer that space as well. So, mm. yeah. Okay, go. I'm good, bro. I've got a couple of topics I want us to touch on. But before that, I just quick catch up. Um, how are the kids doing? How are you doing uh, kids, personal the kid, development? The kids, are, the kids are gallivanting. So the kids, my kids live soft. So um, they left for the airport this morning. Um, and they're living their best life. <laughs> Except you see three little boys <laughs> that look a bit like, hey, why do you look like? And they're speaking a lot of English. Yeah, well, I can't in check with Nganzam's group, but he loved to be cool and by heavy fun. Except his, so, his three boys are currently on holiday. Yeah. Is what I'll say. And I, I hope they're having a great holiday wherever they are. And I'm sure they're going to have a good time because their father's not around, <laughs> which makes me happy. I'd be happy if my dad was not around. <laughs> To tell me I'm living soft and make me do push-ups. <laughs> Personal development. Uh, uh, you, you said I'm, you're hurt. Why are you hurt? I'm, I was playing. I was, so I, I still, I'm still playing rugby, but I'm not fully healed. So I've got a stress fracture on my right tibia. Um, What's a tibia? It's your shin bone. What's a shin? Um, a shin, a shin. On my la, on my lens. It's a, it's a bone. Um, lens. Um, the, um, the bone in the front of yes, the leg. So, is it's a shin. A, so it's got a stress fracture. So that's a little fracture. Crack, crack, nyana. Um, I was meant to take three months off, but you know me, I'm, I, I'm, I love that. I've, I've called you out before. I'm going to yeah. call you out again. When I was training for the Comrades Marathon, when we were training for the Comrades mm -hmm. Marathon in 2015, part of the training for the Comrades Marathon requires you to have one or two off days per week. Mm -hmm. And one of the best athletes in the world, I just, I'm not going to reference the person, but they were saying rest is a part of the exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're trying to bulk up and grain muscle, lifting yeah. weights is exercise. And rest but is. resting the muscle so it expands and recovers mm. so that it can do more is part of the exercise. So but I so urge you that, to please rest. That 75 hard thing that put me under pressure. Um, obviously, I'm in less pain after that than the 75 hard because the 75 hard is just no rest for 75 days. Yeah. So that was yo, that was horrible. But, but you, you, need to, you need to you need to rest, bro. Yeah. We're no, try no. we're trying to outside of like life happening. Yeah. I think 85 is a good year, good age to book out. Yeah. But if we can get to a comfortable 85, no sticks, no limping, no veins on your legs on mm. and part of that has to do with oh, rest and diet. Legs. I've got veins on my legs. Like veins. No, but, uh, you know the veins I'm talking about? Oh, la belum. The one veins like ugh. I was going to say something so inappropriate. Ugh. So inappropriate. And nah, I apologize. Hey, tingash. So yeah, so um, so I'm, please, please I'm, rest I'm and good. recover. Yeah. How, how did the rugby go? Uh, we lost. We were playing. Who are you playing, you playing for now? Jay. So I'm, I'm, I'm a mermaid. We are my Avengers. So where we are needed. So if you got a rugby club that needs that sounds like, like twenty old amazing people. guys, it is. We, we just like one week we play for Wanderers. The next week we play for Diggers. We play wherever we needed. Okay. So, so who are you playing? Who are you playing for? Yesterday we were playing for Wanderers. So I'm a French. We call ourselves I'm a French. Um, What's the story there? I don't know. Do you not think it's linked to what you said about France earlier? Maybe. I'm a French. I am as it. Yeah, I'm champion. No Poloni. Yeah, I'm a French Poloni. Yeah, I'm a close. I've been saying I am as it. That sounds tribalist. It's a little bit. Please withdraw. Withdraw, Delela. I I will withdraw this truth. Um, so, so we played. You are playing then, University of Johannesburg. Ntanga. Coached by Pagamani Ngumalo. Yeah, Pagamani Ngumalo. Shout having out to the Ngumalo family. He's having a chuckle off to us because their boys are just giving us a hiding. Eh? And in Tuanazaki, like the average age is like 2002. 2002, yeah, 2002. Average date, birth, birth, birth year. Birth date, yeah, 2002, 2003, boys. That's when I matriculated. Oh, wow. Look, that was so they're like, old enough to be my boys. Damn. The, damn. Old enough to be mass. They're not damn. sad. Damn. <laughs> damn. I, was talking, I was like, you guys are closer to my son's age than my age. I was like, whoa. That's a bit weird. So like, I was, it, it was crazy because you had like 20 year olds on the field, 22 year olds on the field. And up on our team, the average age was like 37. Jeez, it's dope. I remember Uzama Mieni, Uzama Ushe Mieni, Mfano Se Mpumalang, saying that he, he'll, he'll retire from playing rugby, number one, when his leg's given. Yeah. And number two, after his boys take the field with him. Yeah, that's the same with me. That is once insane. Once once that's done, then I'll stand up out. Whatever sport they choose, if they want to play tennis, if they want to play, I'll, I'll there, and then I'll take a step back. I'm a penalist. I have penalism principles, which is my religion, my belief system. I believe in healthy living, taking care of yourself, understanding that your body is your number one asset. Mm. Um, 
I found myself being bloated quite a bit in the last couple of months. So my so tummy was starting to get a, a tender curve. You know, so no, bloated doesn't only mean Uksusa. This guy is disgusting. Yeah. But, but I realized, you know, uh, I was reminded at least of, of the capitalist dynamic that we live in. Yeah. Most of the things we consume, eat, most of the medicines we take, most of our habits are driven by capitalism. Yeah. What that means is most of us have had our behavior engineered by companies that make money by our behavior. Mm. Breakfast, lunch, and supper today for me, and look in the past when you listen to people like Dr. CB, who was a health practitioner, uh, they are a capitalist scam. Breakfast in particular. What do I mean? The whole concept of breakfast... Dr. CB is a capitalist scam. No, no, no. I'm saying um, breakfast, lunch, and supper is a scam, oh, which yes, is something I believe now, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's something I've been believing in a while, especially yeah. after listening to the teachings of Dr. CB, who's mm. passed on. Um, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, is a capitalist line to mm. get you to eat breakfast and to buy breakfast products. Mm. And for a lot of people that don't know, I just ha don't have this guy's name off the top of my head, but maybe I'll put it in the comments. Uh, there's a, a very Christian, very religious, staunch Christian leader who who invented cornflakes, mm. Kellogg's cornflakes. Actually, I think his surname is Kellogg. Mm. So maybe we're halfway there. Mm. Uh, but this gentleman created cornflakes <laughs> as a way to stop yeah, guys from problem. masturbating. So it's yeah, not it. it's not just about masturbating, but it's got a lot to do with being productive in the morning. Mm. Um, but the reality is, human beings, like most animals, are meant to eat when they are hungry, yeah. and they are meant to eat to replenish what they have lost. Not this concept of just eating like a cow for the sake of just mm. grazing and eating. So I've, I've cut down on eating as soon as I wake up. I wake up the same way you'd wake up and run because mm. no one eats and then runs. No one eats and then lifts weights. Mm. So similarly, if you have to be productive, you wake up, you go and you put in a lot of work, burn that energy, and then after that, replenish it, which normally for me is about 11, 12. For you, it might be 10. For someone else, maybe it might be 2 p.m., um, so I wake up in the morning, I become productive and I only eat when I start getting a little bit hungry. Mm. Hunger is also not a good thing, by the way, mm. a little bit hungry. And then when I eat, I'm not trying to load and make mm, up mm, for mm. breakfast. I'm eating just to replenish what's been lost. Um, and then I keep it going till about, at about seven, eight, I get a bit hungry again. Mm. And then I have my second meal and then I go to sleep. And when you're sleeping, your body's at rest. Unless you're having like crazy dreams and nightmares, your body's mm. not really burning that much energy so i wake up i'm still good and then i i can keep going so as, as, in as terms of personal I, development i'm there i i look at nature ne? and we've always owned dogs when a dog is sick the first thing it does is stops eating mm. it it stops you know it 100%. might be across it's not just a dog you all, know, all animals, wild animals they, they well. stop so so mean the concept of breakfast i truly believe in it i don't believe it in the capitalist way of we wake up and have a bowl of of cocoa pops but i believe in the sense of having to fast and then breaking it at a certain time. So that is the concept, by the way. That's the concept, yeah. yeah. yeah breaking the fast. So again, if you want to get technical, there's people that do the 16, is a 16 8 rule. In so intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. So what they will do is that they will not eat for 16 hours. Yeah. So you might have your last meal at six um, in the evening. Sure. And then you then fast for 16 hours. You know, so yeah. obviously. If you are having your meal at your dinner at six, you go to bed, let's say at 10, you sleep, you wake up, and then you slowly become productive, whatever the thing yeah. is. And then you eat again at 12. You eat at 12. At 10 in the morning. If oh, it's 16, oh, oh. six to six is midnight. Six, no. And then another 10 hours, which is 16, okay. takes it to 10 o'clock right, in the morning. Sharp, perfect. Then you eat again at 10 until whatever the time is. Yeah. And then, yeah, one. So if you can start doing those type of things and you're like, look, uh, it, it can't be that hard for the fatties out there to eat more six sugu and then to bakubege, balale, and then the following thing or 10. It's hard. Is it hard? So I, I went on a hike, shout out to Siabule Langang. I went on a hike yesterday at Klip Refirsberg. Mm. Great hiking spot in the south of Joburg. Sure. And we were speaking about health because he's on a health journey and he's lost 11 kgs in the last mm. few months. Shout out to, he's cut out alcohol. Has he? He's cut out alcohol. <laughs> no, I thought maybe you missed that. No, I'm like, pause, man. Anyways, so he's lost 11 kgs, and one of the conversations I raised was, it's my opinion, I haven't read up any medical science and data. Yeah. My opinion is that the more you run, 
the more your lungs work and they are muscle they expand and they stretch that's why if you haven't been running for a while when you sprint sometimes it feels like you're you're breathing blood mm. because i feel like it's the muscles in the lungs that are tearing mm-hmm. and as they tear i think they expand that's why when you very fit i think you have bigger lungs so they don't have to work a as hard heart. apparently you have a bigger mm-hmm. heart because it's pumping more blood i feel the same about the stomach mm. i think the stomach is this packet and, and it starts shrinking when you i think when fat people eat they expand it mm. so what happens is because it's big it needs to be filled mm. in more often mm. and i think that's why a lot of them struggle uh, with dieting and fasting oh, because they have a scope, bigger whenever, scope, whenever scope. 100% so i think as you fast it's meant to shrink slow and i think i stand to be corrected you guys will correct me mm. but i think the whole surgery of a gastric bypass has got something to do with limiting the size who's, of who's the stuff. Who's that guy from American Idols? That black guy from American Idols? Because then he... Randy... Yeah, he... Was he, it Idols? Yeah, Ameri- whatever it was. It was the Idols, wasn't it? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So, you know, he made his... Because he had a drastic... Anyone who has drastic weight loss, it's either yeah, liposuction... We got, yeah, we get shocked. Liposuction is when the fat is removed. Oh, it's a uh, gastric bypass. I think Andy Le Ramaphosa, Antonio Ramaphosa may have done the same. I mean, people always shout and judge me. Good thing. And you just eat whatever and you wake up more to excel. I truly believe you said something earlier. Good to eat when you're hungry. Sure. You know, like whether you're a lion, a fucking owl, whatever, they eat when they're hungry. You know? Yes. So, I mean, I can literally wake up and live the entire day, not chowing. And if I'm hungry at two o'clock in the morning, I'll eat. Mm. You know, this, like today, I ate, I had... I did rice and chicken at half past three this morning. Your your body and nature, guys, is not, is not looking at the time. <laughs> oh, he ate at two, so the slap chips will slap more. So so in no. my team and ladies, I'm not exposing you guys. So I'm not gonna name them. So my partners, they eat healthy, super healthy, super super. This healthy. is this is work. Uh, no, when you say partners, oh yeah yeah oh this yeah, is yeah work. this okay. is the business partners. Yeah, so they eat very healthy. Sure. I want but I'm a muesli, and I'm a almond, salads, and I'm a salads. But they constantly eating. Yeah, they crazy like cows. And I say, and I say, good you guys, this is about young men come up because need cows eat grass the most the healthy whole day, thing. the whole day. No fat, no carbs, hey. no oil, but no but spice. But it's but just grass. I'm saying, boys, I'm a crepes. It is that for everyone. We, we once sat with the we once sat with a very close friend and brother of ours, Brendan Covender. Brendan, I'm not putting you on blast. So Brendan is a fitness fanatic. Yeah, we love Jim, you, bro. A, a personal love trainer, you. Love you. A, a swimmer is a lifeguard. Yeah. But we once sat and we bought very unhealthy slab chips from in Newcastle, La Portos. And shout out to the Portos family. I must actually remember the daughters have contacted me on TikTok and on Instagram because I made a video to promote their Pretoria branch. Mm. And apparently did really well. I'm supposed to go and collect a voucher mm. there. So thank you so much to the to the to the family, mm. to the daughters. Must, um let's give a bit of a riff <laughs> This guy. Uh Portos, I think on Steve Beagle Street in Pretoria. Please go check it out. Yeah. But I wanted to say we were eating these slab chips, which are like symbolic and iconic in Newcastle with the Russians, cheese Russians. Very delicious. These are the best slab chips in the world, by yeah. the way. If the you ever get a chance in Newcastle yeah. or in Pretoria, please go try them out. Sure. Brendan looks at us and he laughs. You guys are eating unhealthy. Sick. Super unhealthy. It's very right. Eating slab chips, cheese rations, just white bread, diabetes, heart disease, yeah. high cholesterol. Horrible. He says, I eat grilled chicken and fruits and nuts. And yogurt. And yogurt. Oh. <laughs> grilled chicken, healthy. Uh, fruits, <laughs> healthy. Nuts, healthy. And yogurt. <laughs> But now after we've bought these, I oh. think we have like three slices of bread each, some slab chips, a oh, cheese ration each. Brendan gets, uh, maybe I'll end with this last. Brendan gets, uh, uh, let's call it three bananas. So he's going to eat fruit, three bananas, number one. Number two, he's bought a whole sack of peanuts. The, the big Simba peanuts. He's bought a whole sack of peanuts that he's going to consume, number two. Number three, he has a tub. <laughs> Those big tubs of yogurti, yogurt, healthy, a big tub. No, it's plain yogurt, Greek. It's got no... Number four, he eats a full... A whole ass chicken. A full grilled chicken. And he's telling us we are unhealthy. <laughs> Anyways, 
Yeah. Uh, so that's my personal development journey you, currently. We love you. We love you so much. Um, if you guys can listen to your body more, I think this is yeah. the purpose of meditation. Mm. Listening to people that are health people and just being like, look, how do I live a better life? Because your body is, is your I, only I, asset. I, I look just people in general also on active. So besides what they consume, they they really not active. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So a lot of people don't eat a lot, but see, but they pants, you know. And I look at even spans like people just sit. And I was like, how how do yeah, you just you have to you have to you have to, bur- you, you have to burn you, what you've put in, you know? And then yeah. you get home, then you sit in your car, ne? sit in traffic for thirty minutes, or whatever. Get home, Netflix. You know, you hit to drive through. Get home, Netflix. You chill. Yeah. Get to bed and then rinse repeat. That's what they do every day. So you can eat a little bit. The reason why you look at construction workers that eat two liters, and then they have a half a chicken and then they drink two liters of iron broom. It's construction workers. They, they, they're they burning, burning the shit out of it. They burning you it. You couldn't do that. So even if you even ate, with a drumstick. Yeah. So even if you ate half what they ate, because you're just sitting at the office and you're sitting in your car and you're sitting like really, so understand those things you spoke about your business partners and your team mm. yeah. uh female and yeah. you had you had me thinking about amazing queens banyana amazing. banyana yeah we want to send our congrats to ibanyana banyana for making us very proud at the world cup there was yeah. a bit of drama and controversy before they left which i believe they sorted out and a big shout out to our national netball team and south africa for hosting the world the world cup the netball world cup Mm. Um, congratulations to our girls to our ladies to our women mm. especially in this women's month we're very proud of you we celebrate you every single day we love you admire you all of us at some point came from a woman mm. whether you came from the bottom or you came being cut out uh, but we came from women and we love and we appreciate you um, just a word to our, our female athletes please nah man well done to Banyana Banyana it was unfortunate uh Getting knocked out by Netherlands. Um, yeah. But, you know, OCC got paid well, hey? Things were 1.3. 1.3 million? Mm, to make it each. Into, I think it was something like that. One okay. of those numbers wasn't correct. But it was it was a lacking amount uh, for making it into the the 16. My my nervousness in where the world is going with the whole non-binary world that we're going is I wonder how the next World Cup will look like. You know, we live in With a, transgenders? With the... With the, with the with transgender, you can call them transgender. You can call them non-binary, however you want to word it. I'm worried, but, but by worried, I'm I'm assuming I'm, you mean yes. people that were born with penises, yes, joining who are, female sports, who are joining female okay. sports because they identify as a woman. Yeah, and understanding that we live in a third world country, and we have people who are living in dire poverty, and we also have just pure criminals among my opportunists. Yeah. You know, so if there's an, a chance that I might get thousands you know all i just need to say is that i identify as a woman yeah you know or i can just say i'm non-binary but today i'm identifying as a woman and i make it banana banana you know because as much as we clap hands guys i'm not trying to throw shade but the banana banana couldn't beat a, 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 team, a, a male team that plays for in G. yeah but you are throwing shade and you and you but it's the truth though yeah, but I don't think that's important in what you're raising what you're raising my, is my the concept that, my, yeah. the, con- the concept is just Having certain people that are mischievous have, 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 and malicious. Have, have, have you ever gone to mixed netball games? I, I don't want to ride that, that okay, direction sorry, you're okay, going into. Sure. Uh, I want to focus on what you're saying. You can raise Sorry-ning that as a secret. No, 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 no. You can raise it. Yeah. It's worth raising. Um, in the celebration of our women, the issue is just in the history of the world, there have been certain groups that have been oppressed mm. systematically, mm. Not, not biologically, not naturally, systematically, mm. where there's a woman who is capable, who is two meters tall, weighs 115 kilograms who can lift a cow mm. but she couldn't get into a certain space because Just she was purely, a woman okay, got you. and the fights my understanding of feminism and women empowerment were meant to Just allow women like that to express themselves however they want mm. now because we're trying to fix the systematic issues we've got female sports we've got quotas in certain sports where we are getting people that were previously disadvantaged to get in and it's not nice when you see men who have been previously privileged who have been helped by the system sneakily getting into spaces where they are coming to dominate people mm. that were previously disadvantaged mm. we're not speaking about a short tiny small man with a high estrogen who wants to play football but wants to identify as a woman and is going to compete fairly with women because he might also be discriminated against in male sports we're speaking about guys who are huge who mm. just want to come and bulldoze and take over. I mean, look at something like black economic empowerment. 
Black economic empowerment was meant to serve the previously disadvantaged black people of South Africa, black Indian colored, who were kept out by the apartheid government through the law. Mm. Now, if you get to a BEE, a white person who comes from privilege, not a poor white person, a white person who comes from a rich family who's well off, who says, no, I identify as black. Mm. I want to take the BE scorecard. Mm. That is malicious. And that takes away from what we're trying to fix, which was be, the first be, point be, you were raising. Be, because in, in my scorecard, I can write with I'm a day them and it picks yeah. me up, you know, because there is that space now, you know, so I'm not going to need day them. You, are, you might be a woman and therefore yeah. earn well, more I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying I'm non-binary. Yeah. So now I get to qualify. Yeah. So it, it, it becomes those things and it's making me nervous. And it's not a shot at trans people. It's not a shot at non-binary. You know, I welcome uh, people who might have been born with the vagina to come and play rugby against us. Come through. You know, let's let's see how far you come with your size four shoes. You know, but he, I'm just worried about my opportunities. We have, we have to protect our women. There are various ways to protect our women, number one. One of them being to make sure that they are not being continuously oppressed in spaces where we are trying to get them empowered, mm. where they empower themselves. Part of it is also protecting them against themselves. Mm. So, black people, <laughs> us, we were liberated from apartheid and colonization. Mm. And then we were given, given in inverted commas, Political leaders, black political leaders, where today we are looking at them and we are wondering <laughs> if these people are actually serving who they are meant to be serving or if mm. they are serving an agenda which oppressed us. So at some point when we speak about the ANC, maybe the IFP, the PAC, these are the older black parties, maybe even the EFF as a new party, we raise them with the concern that maybe you black people need to be protected from yourselves because you can't see that this person that is supposed to look like you mm. is actually not serving you. So a similar argument happens in women empowerment where we have to sometimes, as men, mm. as people with penises, we have to say, guys, be careful of the type of feminism you're pushing. Mm. Be careful of condoning for, I mean, we've had transgenders in Miss South Africa. Mm. Be careful of condoning that because once you open that gate, that transgender um, finalist mm. who maybe for all intents and purposes deserve to be there yeah. opens a gate for malicious men, evil men, to then come in and all of a sudden what was Miss South Africa has been overrun by transgenders who are not good people but who saw a half gap. Once mm. you say white people can identify as black, that means even the rich white people from mm. back in the day can now come and collect BE points. Because no one has a problem with Eminem saying he's black. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, there's he's certain, earned his keep. Yeah, he's earned his keep. So there's many uh, 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 guys who might have been people rather that might have been born with the penis that Happened in Canada where guys would get arrested for rape and then all of a sudden they say they identify as women so then they get put into the women's cells yeah. and then continue raping women yeah you understand it's a mess so eesh. it's a mess I don't know it is what it is I want to send a shout out to Wades Wades is new in the team who gift is recruiting talent so we making the circle bigger you know what I'm saying my bra <laughs> Wades I don't know if my shoes are showing on camera not really okay no don't show them don't show them I've got new sneakers I've got new sneakers that I got from this clown here, I want to say thank you so much for my new sneakers. The Converse, <laughs> my mom bought me uh, Adidas Gazelles. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much Sweet. to my brother and yes, my yes, and those, my mom. Those, those Adidas sneakers are fresh. Eh? I know you wanted to speak about my sneakers that I've now officially retired, and I actually went to send them today via Pep Paxi yeah. to the gentleman who who bought them for me. I'm not going to mention the amount, but he donated quite a sizable amount for my sneakers that I retired. But give him a shout out. Oh, I thought you wanted to speak about sneakers. No, you, you speak you about, speak about my sneakers. Yeah, you can speak about my sneakers. I'll jump in. Oh, okay. So, we be arranging it because now that's when to use a car and when we go to the pace, you need to be politically correct. Uh, doesn't that sometimes happen? I, I, it's a conversation I want to raise because it's actually really bugging me. I am, I am losing myself by becoming more popular in the. I didn't know I was in the space, but in uh. the media space. So I now have to watch my words, which is which is really sad for me. But I understand the responsibility of having a bigger voice. Because there's a certain person. Because the, the question is, do you want to give this person energy? Do you want to hold back? Like what I can say, how does it affect? Yeah, I'm asking in the sense. Oh, snap. I think I know where this is going. Because I can give... I, 
Jeez, actually, because I wanted to make a video about it. If it's so, the person I think it is, please raise them because I actually, I want to address them here. So, and and, and I said, okay, I'm going to make a separate video. No? Yeah, it's chilled. No, so, no, we can put it. The podcast space f- for now is still unfiltered okay. and uncensored. So, so and, and this was sparked off when I saw Ikhrut Manus Buddha commenting on yeah, the yeah. shoes. So, my brother's a minimalist. You guys know him before. What's a minimalist? Like, so, minimalist is, I guess, a person who's not into materialistic shit. You know. A minimalist is someone who, who lives on the basics without access. So once you feel like you have more than enough more fires, you give away or you donate or you sell the rest. So I live with the bare minimum. And anytime I feel like I have an extra pair of socks or an extra pair of shoes, or why do I have an extra car? I get rid of those things and I live with just the bare minimums that I want. If the bare minimum that you want is a hundred pairs of shoes, yeah, because they make sense to you, you can still be a minimalist, but then you'll show it in other spaces, Woody, yeah. in all these other things. But in these things, this is me, but in all other things, I live with just the bare minimum. Yeah, so again, this guy is not into materialistic things our whole life. I'm, you know, I guess, Akacho, Polo Belt, Woolies, Anda. I'm, I'm that guy, unfortunately. And Kogi Anda is a minimalist. So, I'm a minimalist. So I, I get it in Tandis into shop. That's my short for. But again, you've been a minimalist. You haven't hidden that. Um, you invest more in memories, traveling. You've done all those things. You give. You've always given. And people think Uguti into Ikala Manji. Like from when you're looking at kids, bro, you've always been this 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 person. And you know, so it's something we get from home, by the way. Both my mom and dad used to be proper yeah. community builders and give us to the community. You know, so what what got me feeling a type of way. So um it trended obviously the shoes and this thing and lum cheetah lona and I was thinking, I was like, this guy has to be incredibly Par- smart. Parody parody account on Twitter. So I, I truly believe that this person is a very smart person. So Chris Excel. I was like, I think this guy is a very smart person because he understands what he should he put himself out there, he risks so many things yeah you know he risks maybe he's got businesses uh, family uh investors what is yeah so there's so many things that he has calculated and then hides behind unfortunately he's thomas up beyond someone that we know personally yeah, so yeah one, family and then, friend and, and and she is a family friend and smart so too like some as guys and even because we're like you you could have put a, a picture of a car of a soccer ball and still an animated person, picture you know and now you watch this you watch and you read some of the tweets and you like you know nothing about nothing and you just there to spew majority negative energy yeah. on these social platforms you know now that this guy has done something amazing with the shoes because you're talking shit about it okay shop whatever it's your platform yeah now that he's done something nice, do you ever just go back and just like the post? Mm. Do you ever go back and just, just retweet and just say, um, even, if, even if he takes glory, let's say he takes glory. Yeah. Let's say he says, because of me, the shoes were trending. Yeah. And because of me, now Penwell has gone and gotten 20 kids brand new shoes. Yeah. At, at least now you're creating, there's a positive spinoff, you know, mm. and I'm watching these guys and they pop up everywhere. And I'm just saying, as a lumchita, as a linyanga, ah, putwami, siswami, or whoever, nya trailang linyanga, uz uz uhambio keza, upalazu, kome, we clean it, because lomoyo faragma social media, angboni singati, generally speaking, yes, coolies as people. You know, we're not perfect, we mm. all say things we might later re look at. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've all said some dumb shit yeah, yeah. On, on social but, media, and we've all been guilty of. Yeah, some we, level of cyberbullying. N- 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 no, no one is perfect. Yeah, you know, the reality is, Mina. My intention, generally speaking, mm. is to try and educate. I have shortfalls. You have shortfalls. But generally speaking, we try and educate. Long chitalo, Chris Excel. Yeah, his general energy is being toxic. Yeah, you know, and his general energy is being negative and breaking the community. And give me when I see a person like that, I even ask me. Why were you triggered by? Okay, a bit of a backstory. Yeah. Um. Maybe a month or so ago now, 
I officially decided to retire my black Adidas Sambas. I've been wearing them for the past four years. They were a gift by my then partner. Um, amazing shoes. Mm. Uh, they've been on all my podcasts. I've traveled overseas with them, etc. Pretty mm. dope. Mm. So I decided, look, I'm gonna. I could sell them. I don't know if anyone would buy them because they kind of finished. Mm. I could throw them in the dustbin, which a lot of people said I should do. Mm. I understand. Um, I was like, look, everyone talks about these shoes. At some point, they were dragged because mm. I took a picture on ENCA, I think, with JJ Taba and, and other podcast warriors, Mac G, David Mashabela, DJ Spoo. I hadn't washed them on the day, so they were filthy <laughs> and then it trended. So when I was going in on social media and people dragged me, ah, your smelly sneakers, they've never even smelt them. It's I the tracked you. It's the same way they were saying... I, I, uh, I, I, I tracked you. It's the same way people say, like, oh, DJ Spoo, uh, and you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't that. even been around Spoo, yeah. bro. Like, the guy is clean. He smells sure. good. He yeah. he might look scruffy. I think that's yeah. how you describe no, no, it. But you can't say, we are new, uh. No, you can't. Anyways, they were like, my... How are you going to smell it through a picture? So my people are like, my sneaker smell and those things, and that's mm. fine. I've got a thick skin, man. I'm, I'm chilled vibes. Sure. Um, so people drag and troll and whatever. And I guess Chris Excel was one of the people because he's got a huge mm. account who decided to go in mm. and people would then start attacking me on my shoes when I try to make a point. Mm. Yeah, I get rid of your shoes. I get attacked for my children and their baby mamas. Yeah. Sure. And that's not nice. So I, I put the shoes out. I was, it was an auction, half joke, half real. Mm. If someone was going to give me 500 rand or 200 rand. I was going to add on to that and then do charity. Mm. It's a nice way to retire my shoes. Mm. It's a nice gesture. I had, I think, over 50 people that DM'd me saying 200 Rand, 500. Someone said 1,200 Rand. And then this gentleman, Chris Manamela from Limpopo, went and hoid a serious figure. Mm. Uh, I thought he was capping. I thought he was, what? And he was like, I saw that you want to do this for charity. He's not going to wear the shoes, guys. Uh, he might not even keep them. He might throw them away. They his now. It doesn't really matter. The point of it was something cool that happens to these mm. shoes that have traveled. And mm. he's maybe going to keep them as a souvenir. Mm. I've sent them to him. He was like, I'm doing this for charity because I know your heart and I know the type of person mm. you are. Mm. Mm. I was very thankful. He sent the money. I got more money from my brother, mm. from a brother of ours, Christopher uh, Kapanga. This is actually pretty dope. Chris Excel, Chris Manamela, Chris Kapanga. Oh, triple C. Chris story. Um, Shamiz Bartlett, uh, Dionilin, Tamanda Pongolani, Musa Maswangani, and I think Tiamo. Some people donated as well. A little bit of money here and there. Mm. I put in money as well, and we went and we got 20 pairs of brand new shoes for needy kids in Zanspreit, a township here in Gauteng. Nice gesture, a nice ending to my story. Not because we're looking for spotlight, but it's like, why not? Mm. Shared the story. I thanked all the stakeholders. And now people are congratulating. Thank you so much. And I'm very thankful. We took lemons. We turned them into lemonade, which is a, a great story. There's a similar story with Morphi and others. I posted it. And one of the comments from the story was DJ Sbu. Because I said thank you to everyone who made this trend. I didn't give names. Sbu said thank you and tagged at Chris Excel. A couple of other people were like, you must thank Chris Excel. You must thank Chris Excel. I ignored a lot of them. Some of them that came at me sideways. Yeah, how Chris Excel, what, what, I blocked them because I block mm. people. It's chilled. Yeah. The rest two are like, you must thank Chris Excel. I was like, sure, whatever. Mm. DJ Spoo posted this and I don't know if someone commented, but then he further subtweeted, I don't get involved in beefs. Yeah. You know, Nyango, my intent, what, what. Mm. I've spent over a year with DJ Spoo and I'll tell you this. Number one, Spoo tries to focus on the positive out mm. of everything. He mm. tries to extract the positive yeah. out of everything. Spoo believes in killing people with kindness, even your haters. Mm. That's the Jesus Christ story, boy. Christ, Christopher, Chris Excel, Chris Kapanga, Chris Manamel. Mm. It's forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Mm. Uh, kill them with kindness. If someone's bashing you, let them bash, do something dope, and then be like, thank you for bashing me. Mm. The reason why I may have felt funny like my brother is, maybe Sbu wasn't saying kill them with kindness. Maybe he was like, thank you, Chris Excel, for making this trend. And I want to address this by saying this. Chris Excel, whether I know them or not, had no good intentions mm. with dragging my sneakers. At all. Zero. Mm. If people heard that I had taken my life, that I was depressed, that I was not doing well because I'd been cyber bullied, people like Chris Excel would have celebrated. Yeah. He's weak. Uh, people would have dragged me with my new label now, Mac G, Wanna Be, that old Julius Malema tagged on me. Mm. 
he would have celebrated. He does not celebrate people that are doing good things. Mm. So I cannot thank Chris Excel for throwing lemons at me because his intentions were malicious. Hurt you, yeah. Myself and the people involved took that and we did something great with it. Yeah. It's meant to be a lesson to many other people. Mm. It's meant to be a lesson to Chris Excel himself and his followers that guys, some of us are stronger than you guys think and we will try and spin things. Mm. We will not celebrate you. And if you guys are like, yeah, but all publicity is good publicity, bad pub There are people that take their lives. Mm. That is no different to us saying we should thank the apartheid government. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't see black billionaires, BPE. Let's thank we the wouldn't Nazis. See, let's, let's, let's thank the Nazis. Nazis. Yeah. Let's thank... It's, it's not intelligent. You can say it tongue in cheek and be sarcastic. If it wasn't for apartheid, I wouldn't be as strong as I am today because apartheid cooked me. Mm. But that's not you thanking the apartheid government. That's mm. you shoving it in their face and saying, mm. it doesn't matter. There's this line. It doesn't matter how far you push us into the ground. Mm. You didn't realize that we were seeds and we were designed to grow. Mm. So Chris Excel, whoever they may be, we've asked many times for them to remove Bianca Costa's picture. Mm. They've gone further in the cyberbullying. Mm. They've worked in conjunction with Nota to cyberbully more people. Mm. These are not good people. Yeah, but we are good people and we will show you that as much as you guys are bringing that negative energy we will take it we will spin it we will do good and we will change lives while you guys sit in dark corners somewhere fermenting mm. into whatever you're fermenting into mm. and while you have all these fans who are also a lot of them miserable sad unemployed people that because misery loves company yeah i cannot be sad alone let me drag you like crabs in a bucket and yeah. let me suffer. You must suffer with me. Mm. Let's watch the downfall of DJ Smoo. Let's watch the downfall of whoever this Penuel guy is. We will keep rising. We are stronger than that. Some people are religious and they see the work of Jesus Christ in what we're doing. Some people are cultural and they see the work of our ancestors constantly fighting negative things. Mm. Some people just believe in self and in nature. You can fight, but nature turns. And some of us are turning. So I just wanted to say that you can congratulate this guy for making the post trend. There were no good intentions there. Mm. But to all the people who were positive, to all the people that tried to defend, to all the people that understood, to all the people that are involved in helping us make the world a better place, we love you. I focus on good comments, not negative comments anymore. As much as the negative comments elicit a high emotional reaction, mm. I will go and like and comment on the good comments and I will block and remove all the negative because I'm about positivity and creating great things. And I will not thank and give people that are negative an even higher spotlight that they don't deserve. Mm. Chris Excel can go jump. Tina Tupac, fuck Mob Deep, fuck Biggie, fuck Chris Excel. You know, and a big shout out to Chris Manamela. If you download Chris Excel, then fuck you too. Chino Excel. Fuck you too. All you motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Drop mic. Like, like, just to also just wrap it up. I think if we can just turn something positive. Um, Chris Excel, let's do something for charity. Let's do something for kids. Uh, the charity of your choice. Me, now I'm putting up my hand as a man. Hey, man, now, fuck Chris Excel, man. No, and listen, fuck listen, whatever no, he's no, doing. No, no, listen, listen. I'm putting up myself as a man. And I'm saying let's do something positive for the kids. Who? For the charity. Me, now. And? Chris Excel. Nah, fuck that. Hey, nah. Nah. Man, no, Chris Excel, I'd like us to organize a charity fight between the two of us. Fight! Mina? No, Chris Excel. I'm going to ask you. Charity fight! Oh, Chris Excel could be this. Can't you call it? Who proclaims now for Chris Excel? We're not sending out negative so, heat. We're not not sending out, not sending out negative, so, I'm not sending out I'm, negative I'm, energy. I, I am saying it's a no, no, charity. No. So I can't say a charity. Nah, look good. Into for the kids, the charity of your choice. We do something around that. And then we go and we look after the uh, underprivileged community. And then positive lemonade. It's the the lemonade. opposite of the opposite of love is not hate. Uh, the counter to love is not hate. A lot of people make that mistake of thinking when you no longer love someone, you hate them. Mm. Love and hate are both very strong energies. They have different shades, of course, but they're strong energies. The opposite of love is indifference. How you make something powerless is by ignoring it. Mm. So I've learned, even with the ANC, when it upsets me, people mm. like Cyril Ramaphosa, that's why I block. Um, I try to make something powerless and I try to ignore it. I'm addressing this just because it's a teachable moment, mm. but I personally do not want to give characters like that any more power than they already have, along with their minions. And I would rather focus my energy on the people that are actually really doing good things. 
shout out to Tutuzane Zuma, shout out to shout out to Uzi Pomhlong and shout out to Vids. Vids uh the gym in Tlanga in Durban, they are hosting a a a fight um 29th of September in Durban. Um if there's going to be fighting, if there's going to be charity, let's try and focus on some of the positive spaces like that and send out positive energy that let's build excel. and develop. That's where we're going for our charity fight. You're done with the sneakers? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm done with the sneakers. We're going to the end of the end. We're going to the end of the end. 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 Zuma must go. Zuma must go. Zuma must go. Wait. 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 <laughs> can I tell my story about Tum Shadows? Can I tell her my story? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if you wanted to say that. No, no, no. So, um, this is, uh, like, I realized that I was late. I should have made a video on TikTok as soon as the, the news broke on Friday. Yeah. Uh, Minister of Correctional Services and Justice, I think, Ronald Lamula. I'm not sure if who else was. Um, which is quite sad uh, for contempt of court, I believe, linked to the Zondo Commission, um, the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture, where Jacob Zuma was not found guilty, but at some point he refused to attend. He attended initially. Then he was like, but at that time, Acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo is, is, has a conflict of interest because we have a relationship. He sent lawyers, but they arrested him. It led to arguably the July 2021 riots in KZN and other parts of the country sporadically. Um, ill health and those things, Zuma was given medical parole mm. and there have been fights for him to be sent back by the Democratic Alliance and all the haters of Jacob Zuma, some of the haters of the ANC, mm. some of the haters of the faction within the ANC called the RET faction, Radical Economic Transformation. But officially, guys, Zuma was officially rearrested for contempt of court. Drops mic, DA celebrates all the people that hate Zuma. But we biased. And all no, the, but we biased. No, wait, I'm just telling my story. Uh, <laughs> Everyone who hates Zuma, nine wasted years, corruption in the Kuptas. Yeah. The guy's in jail. So we're happy. Now, uh, li linked to that, President Cyril Ramaphosa of mm. South Africa uh, sent out. It's not linked to that. It, it has to be linked. Why is it linked? No, no, no. I'm saying linked to that story. Okay. Zuma was arrested. Zuma was arrested. Full stop. Oh, I yeah. said, everyone celebrates. Mm. Yay! <laughs> He's in jail! Yeah. President Sir Ramaphosa of South Africa, because this has happened, Mandela's done it, Zuma's done it when he was president. Our prisons sometimes get over full. Yeah. <laughs> Our correctional services facilities. Yeah. So sometimes they'll look at and review and look at the most low risk, someone who served their time, someone who's old, someone who's sickly, a, a, a weaker crime white collar criminals and those people are released mm. and prison Sir Ramaphosa happened to I think 9,000 or 10,000 prisoners fell within that ambit mm. and they were released because they're low risk but it was his third phase of releasing hey? was it his third phase yeah so oh, first, I, I don't know in the 2018 story. he released 2018 2018 he released 14,000 okay 2019 COVID-19 so 20, he released 19,000 okay and then now he released over 9.5 Okay, nine, yeah. nine to ten. So that's what I'm people. saying, Guti. It just so happened, Guti. So now, <laughs> you know, uh, when you look at the criteria, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of low risk, but he's 81. There's an old man there, uh, 81 years who old, who falls within the ambit. So he was amongst the people released, but this old man happens to be um, ex president <laughs> Ge Jacob Gelechegis. <laughs> so Zuma went to prison, I think, as court. For two hours. <laughs> Last day for two hours. Or oh, less than said, two hours. Yo, Uzuma got there at six. No, seven. Uzuma, they said, Pumi. That's it. Oh, no. Mm, boom. <laughs> so, I was still amazing and all these guys are angry. No. No, this is a bending of the law. And yeah. Yeah, man. So, Zuma was arrested officially. So, anyone who's angry is like, but guys, we arrested him. Yeah. And then for the people that are angry, no, Zuma doesn't deserve. It's like, no, we arrested him. <laughs> he falls within the ambit. Uh, th that's how look that's how Zuma Cyril the ANC oh. people like Marcus Eust of Steinhoff um, a lot of the apartheid leaders and the apartheid aggressors mm. with the TRC 
the powerful, the elite, black, white, Indian colored, this is how they bend and break the law. Mm. This is how we are an animal farm and the law is not equal. It's a mafia Which, Whichever side you're on, whether you hate Zuma or you are pro-Zuma, you were entertained. Oh, you're not entertained mm. on Friday because you got what you wanted. Zuma was arrested for those that hate him. For those that love him, Zuma was released. My personal opinion is that Zuma should never have been arrested in the first place. I thought that was a bogus charge, the contempt of court, considering that they followed processes with his lawyers. Number one. And number two, Zuma has a whole lot more cases. If John Stianazen and the DA, if other people hate Zuma, there are so many other charges, the arms deal and those things that you can go after him for. Mm. In this, your this, bogus this, this courts. one, this one was uh, this one was the weakest, yeah. the puppest, and it's rubbish. Mm. So yeah, but anyways, that's the official story on Jacob Zuma and how he proposed. But but it's a mafia in and out of it's, it's, in and out of prison. It's, 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 a, it's a mafia state. I did a video about mafia state. Not to, so if checking and learning good TikTok, and you know I don't do TikTok, you know, um, felt a bit weird because you know when white people are all giving you a thumbs up and they're saying nice things in the comments, you go, mm -hmm. do you cringe? Do you feel like a sellout? It just, it just feels different. Like Penzo. Just, mm, you know when there's too many white people saying nice things? You go, mm. We should have you for president. Yeah. Very well done. We such, need more young men like this well guy spoken. speaking up. It's well, you, 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 the way you're taking it. Mm. Was, I was like, mm, I don't know now. You know, but he was speaking around those things about what's happening with Amate Exi, what was happening with um, Lucy's authority at ESCOM. You know, Dorothy was the, is the one of the whistleblowers. I think she's a yeah. forensic investigator at ESCOM, whistleblowing. And then the taxi issue we speak about was the taxi strike for a week in the Western Cape. Yeah. But it was just looking at how all of these things are happening and how, as South Africa, we, we, we bend certain rules for certain people. Yeah. You know, and it was just crazy. It's like ugh, mafia state. But anyway, yeah, that's my two cents on that. Unless you want me to go deeper on it. No, well, it's up to you. But I'll tell you this. <laughs> with dorothy i don't want to sp uh, you'll speak about dorothy yeah I'm, i want to touch on this quickly so you can go watch a video that i made uh, unpacking my thoughts on elon musk and julia smalima around the tubuli bonu song mm. you can go watch that um tuli matonsela professor tuli matonsela the ex-public protector of south africa was Asha. celebrated by a big chunk of white south africa because of her reports on inka and then jacob zuma I don't know if she's a lecturer or if she's a, a vice chancellor or what she might be at the University of Stellenbosch. Loved. So she congratulated the EFF on their 10th year celebration on Twitter. Mm. And then she sent some of her views on the Jacob Zuma matter. And a lot of white South Africans, especially DA people, were calling her out. Oh, mm. this is the downfall of Tuli Matonzela. Why would she say this is so disappointing? Mm. And a lot of ble black people were happy saying, mm. as soon as you go off script with this white agenda, mm. you get attacked. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of white people that may be watching this and some black mm. people, you guys don't understand that we are so racially polarized as a country that mm. you almost have to say things to entertain this race. And as soon as you veer off, even with myself, Rob. all the black people celebrate, celebrate. And, and then like, I'm like, oh, twing congrats. Rob. There's a Rob. Comes yeah. Rob. Now I'm like, congrats to the Freedom Front Plus. Ah, sell out. It, is, it shows mm. the, the binary thinking and the closed-mindedness of, of so many people. So I, can, I wonder what Tuli Matonsela feels like now being attacked by so many white people where <laughs> they've been championing her for saying something they didn't like. But, but the powers that be deliberately make these race wars. You know, because if you look at the taxi violence, it was white versus black. Because the white people have their own cars. Blacks in Atlanta, Malokshi, Nigunzim. You know, it's constantly playing those yeah. things. Even with those Zuma, it's going to be white versus black. Because yeah. even if when you listen to Um Uchulas, he was saying, "What well, you know, he's old. We don't want any more rights. What what?" So Uchulas falls under the segment of the NC and the blackness. Yeah. Versus again, Yaga Afri Forum, not DA were anti it, and you're like. Yes, yes, it's constantly white versus black, white versus black, white versus black. And if you just so happen to be a Herman Mashaba who was saying what the Afri Forum and DA and the Freedom Front was saying, value Herman Mashaba, value was Daisa, value, you know, and then you have to be, get put in a camp. And thinking about where the big platforms are in terms of podcasting, your Joe Rogan, your um, PDB. Um, Patrick Bet David, like the best podcast in the world right now. It's, it's crazy how those guys are constantly having to fight for their space in the middle. 
Yeah. Constantly having Being to in the fight. middle is tough, Be- man. Because they, they're getting pulled to the right and they're getting pulled to the left and they're getting pulled and they're just fighting to say, listen, I am in the middle. Yeah. If the DA some says something amazing, I will clap hands. If the ANC Sam says something amazing, I will clap hands. If the EFF says something amazing, I will clap hands. It doesn't yeah. matter if it if it's for the benefit of the majority of South Africans. You know, that is where I'll put my energy. Whether yeah. you are male, female, white, black, green, blue, doesn't give a, I don't give a fuck about it, but if it's within all of us then it makes sense but this whole election uh, I've been having I've been having a lot of debates with um, it's not even debates it's arguments with Rob mm. Hersoff because mm. uh, we chat uh, I've said this before on platforms yeah my apparent white father uh, <laughs> of which DJ Smoo is not my black father but whatever um, we've been having a lot of arguments because Rob is DA yeah i don't like the da yeah um rob is pro west um mm. i am not pro west mm. so rob is like you're anti i'm like don't do that no to me. no I'm, I'm not, not anti um i'm not pro west um i'm not anti west i'm not pro breaks some but you're also not anti da I've, I've, like, no i'm anti da sorry anti-DA? yeah yeah i'm anti so, I'm DA. so there's three political parties sorry because you're making me go on a tangent there's three political parties I, I genuinely do not like in South Africa currently. Yeah. The ANC by far is number one. I'm not yeah, voting yeah. for them in 2024. Got you. The EFF, I'm not yeah. voting for the EFF and the DA. So I'm anti those three. Um, so I, 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 I fill up the dome, cast on your vest. And then you drop the mic. Anyways, I, home is coming. Look, to look when, I, when I say I'm anti DA, I'm not saying... I can't applaud the good that they have done and that oh, they do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I am saying I'm anti them in the in the sense that I'm not indifferent. I actually have a view. Okay. I don't support them. Yeah. I can't say, look, if you DA, yeah. it's your call. If you mm. ANC, hey, I'm actually mm. like, I don't like the ANC, the DA, and the EFF. And the, if someone the, asks me, I'd say, the, please don't the, vote the, for the, them. The reason why I just shot and I said I don't think you're anti is because when the like you've you you've never said anything negative. You've only said positive things about who. Who's the mayor of Cape Town? Jordan Hill Lewis. Yeah, one. And I was like, okay, so again, but as you're saying, which you give credit where credit is due. Nah, when you yeah. watch a lot of my stuff, I bash the DA quite a bit. Oh, and uh, I do think they're a racially biased party. And they have shown, I mean, they've spat out. They can spin mm. it however they want. They've spat out some of the best. And I apologize because I know some of these people personally. They've spat out the best black coconuts mm. that you can find. Yeah. Musi Maimani, Herman Mashaba, um, Oh, Pumzile, yeah. Mazibugo, um, is it Pumzile, Lindiwe, Lindiwe, Mazibugo, and Pumzile, Fantano. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've spat out the best of the black coconuts. And if you're struggling with black people that are actually trying to understand, there's something you're doing wrong. If ever there was a failed experiment, Tony Leon, the DA is a failed experiment because you guys actually don't know how to build or create Nelson Mandela's. You think you can, I, but I, the, Nelson Mandela wasn't even built by a white party. I think you're saying coconut in the sense of Guti, a person who can articulate themselves in English very yeah, yeah. well. But Zuma and, called Clever Blacks. And, and, and has an accent. Because I had a very good friend of mine who was spokesperson for Umay Man, you know, um, went to, to, to St. John. So that comes with that one connotation. Yeah. But uh, such a beautiful soul. Yeah. And the moment he says Guti is part of the DA now, because now, I mean, at that time I was heavy into ANC and voting ANC. Now, Satluga and Wang and friend like Facebook. Yeah. Based on politics? Based on politics. Be, or was it based on you bashing? Based on me bashing. The oh, okay. No, then, then he was allowed to unfriend you. Yeah, well, I guess. You know, so... But it is what it is. As it, it's painful when you see so many amazing people where they get put in a box and then that box gets closed up. Yeah. And they, and they can't really talk about anything else. So, so Rob and I have been having heavy arguments, specifically because I, I visited Russia recently. Yeah. Uh, I was in China to go and see the kids. Um Russia. <laughs> Well, the week before to say China. And then you came back and you stayed in South Africa for like three days and then Ule Rash. Oh but what is this? He's captured by Rob Hessel. Hey, but maybe he's captured by Putin, by Briggs. No, but he's here pro black with DJ Smoo. Yeah, but Punyuga <laughs> 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 
Ähm, yeah. I am currently oh. reviewing my membership of Afri Forum. Oh, snap, okay. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to say this. Julius Mali, my EFF, Dubuli Pounu, Elon Musk thing has inflamed racial tension in this country. Mm. And I, I've realized, I've struggled by the way with my own identity and where I stand, but mm. I currently am a non-racialist, I'm non-sexist, and I'm in the middle, mm. as it were. I care about good people. And when I see a lot of people baiting for race wars, for gender wars, mm. uh, I feel uncomfortable. And look, I can applaud people for doing good things, but I don't want to be complicit in the racial wars, gender wars, etc. That's why I call out Penson. Mm. Sometimes when he leans towards, yeah, but no woman can ever outrun. I'm like, bro, take it easy. You know, other people inside, you know, because I actually, I realize I'm part of a niche group and it's mm. going to be difficult to find us those of us who actually care about good people. Mm. And when Jacob Zuma's brought up, when Hitler's brought up, when anyone who you call Andrew Tate, mm. a polarizing figure's brought up, some people that you think are in the middle, mm. you see where they lean. Mm. And now all of a sudden you're like, ah, I mean, Ka Kanye West, who I thought was a non-racialist, mm. when black matters are raised, he leans. Elon Musk, who I thought was a non-racialist, he's leaning. Elon Musk has never spoken but, out but, about but, murders but, of black people in, in but, South but, Africa but, 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 or spoken but, out against apartheid. But no, it surely depends. It's it's topics like yeah. So that that was my thinking initially. Yeah. And that's why I'm I'm reviewing a lot of things about myself. The, I've the, got my the, own the, issues the problem, as well. The problem is that I know with you, this is what happens with you. The moment you lean on this specific to topic and you lean, let's say, left, ne? Yeah. Abandon you then quickly put you in a box and then close it. No, of you course. Know? Of course. And and I think that's what tends to happen with certain people. My favorite psychologist Carl Jung literally speaks about if you want your branches to get to heaven the roots need to get to hell right and the problem with abantu they fail to understand that and they want you to pick a side yeah yeah and the second they see a single branch go there they forget with the roots going the other way sure yeah one and you as ulungelo or maybe as ukanye or elon or whoever have understood all those things yeah yeah but it's in us because we sound bites a lot of i understand it's not us sitting with open it's not us sitting with and we take that sound bite we put the people in the box and we close it so this is what i'm saying i'm realizing that i'm part of a niche group mm. which means i'm probably going to be part of the group that gets bashed the most a part of elon musk no can you understand he group like that he has a niche fam <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Turn, I'm turn, I'm turn, 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 turn. Guys. What's his name? Uh, Sa Sandy Wald. He's Sandy a musician. Sandy. I know he was on his bike. Amazing. 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 Anyways, they were amazing. called niche, niche fam. Yeah, Sorry, that's, you that's, were saying I'm part of what? I was saying good to know. We're part of a niche fam. Now work. Turn, now, now work it. Now, so much, so much. You were no Elon Musk. No, no, no Kanye West. No, I. Look, if you have to put it like that, I mean, I wasn't really, but I mean, your words, not mine. No, 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 no. What I'm, real, what I'm realizing is those guys are actually not part of the niche. Okay. Is what I'm trying to say. And on certain topics, because I think they're part of the niche. No, 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 no. L look, <laughs> I don't want to make this a topic because it's a really deep topic. Sure. It is oh, okay. so layered. Yeah. And because it is so layered, this is what you were saying about uh, Joe Rogan and yeah. PBD. So I yeah. think Joe Rogan and PBD, I'm part of that group. Mm. Because they struggle, mm. I struggle, and mm. it's a conversation, yeah. and they are willing to have the conversation. Now, they're willing to change. They're if willing to are, change. Yeah. They're willing to apologize. But because people are like, yeah, come on, support somebody pirate. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm supporting pirate two years ago, yeah. ten years ago. Msakula. Now, saying supporting yeah. Amazon for whatever reason. So I'm just realizing that. So the layers are binary. Mm. Pirates, chiefs. Sure. Then there's layers. I don't want to. Hey, Chiefs, I got any Hey, no, mm. then there's the wishy what Then there's the people who seem like they don't pick sides, mm. but then their money goes to uh, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, okay. Then there, and then there are people who don't pick anyone, but then Kaiser Chiefs was robbed, and now all of a sudden they're like, no, that's bullshit. Kaiser Chiefs is actually, and you're like, ah. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. So yeah, and then you'll be like, but that's topic specific. I'm like. Okay. I understand there are people that are deeper than that. That is okay. That are actually that are actually not 
I'm not part of that. I'm working towards it. Okay. I still have biases, but I'm realizing that in being a niche, this is why I'll be called a Rob Herself. I'm captured by mm. certain black people and then certain white people be like, why are you applauding the EFF? Why Why did you go uh, to It rush? seems like you like Jacob Zuma, I'm, but I'm, you're always I'm, watching I'm, rugby. I'm and I'm going to say Russia, a petty lazy, or St. Peter's, St. Petersburg, diplomat. Yeah, this is going to get us. It was a pass. Yeah, but you got me like lacquer things from Russia, so I can't really fight. They're not lacquer things, it's just fucking yeah, alcohol. I can't really fight. Original you know? Russian vodka, boy, wheat, not potatoes. And pussy Fong Kong with a Russian pear, not potatoes, wheat. This Russian is Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. That the pizza will not takes. Come on. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably have to make a video. I'll have to make a video about this because it's a it's a long, complicated conversation, and it's not for the average mind, and the average mind won't understand. So the one side is going to be like, yeah, finally he's woken up. Mm. Uh, he wants to leave Africa for a donkey, Doctor Uma. Mm. If I tuned it, it's got nothing to do with that. Mm. There are people that are going to say, no, man, it's just an isolated matter. Mm. Um, there are people that are going to say, no, you're pretending to be one of us now. Mm. You're still chilling with Rob Hersoff mm. and, you know, mm. those guys. Um, but I people, so people, it's, it's not, for, it's not you, for them. People want you to do what they want you to do when they want you to do it. The reason I'm saying it's so layered and complex is because if or when I make the video, 95% mm. of everyone who's going to watch it won't get it. Okay. And they will just be proving my point that okay. we are such a minuscule amount of people and because mm. you are you will be bashed the most because you're not picking a side and everyone doesn't trust you yeah and you know you it's pick a side we, we're not binary it's like being a philosopher it's non-binary yeah, yeah. it's literally non-binary mm. like because i believe in a genderless future that's sure. another thing that upsets people sure but what are you and i'm like i know mm. this is the curse of of being me um but i don't want to add to the destruction that's in the world I do want to add to and, the and, good that's in the world. And it's a journey as well. It's so a, it's do do I do I? You can doubt direct. Hmm? You are building Soltech, which is a skills based Afrikaans institution. Hmm. Love it. Hmm. I will market it for free. Hmm. I will try and get as many white Afrikaners, hmm. as many coloured Afrikaners, hmm. as many black kids who speak Afrikaans to get bursaries there to get fundraising so they can learn how to be plumbers and electricians. Mm. Um, Afri Forum patrols the the, the, the borders. Mm. Afri Forum does service delivery. I want to mm. go to the meetings. I want to meet some lekker Afrikaners because Afrikaners is plezierig uh, and, and get involved. Th this lekker om te keir. This lekker om te keir. Op kijk net, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday aand. Nege uur. Met de top in de top. Met a lekker choppy and a dope. <laughs> Some met chop and dope. Anyways, <laughs> I was at Water Club playing Monas yesterday. <laughs> Anyways. Oh um, my gosh. Now the danger in sending money to the ANC mm. instead of helping a local clinic, which is under state control, is that the ANC uses some of your money for corruption mm. or pushing dodgy agendas. Mm. The issue with sending some of your money to Afri Forum is that it does go to funding bringing back the old South African flag, mm. taking Abu Malima to court, which I may mm. not believe in, but some yes. of the money goes there. So it's, that's what I'm saying. I might, it's a consideration, but it's not that uh, straightforward. Mm. Uh, it's a thought. But anyways, uh, I don't want to unpack. I, I, I want to make another video on the podcast industry. Mm. Uh, I want to unpack the podcast industry as much as possible. But Vater uh, Kloof Monas, I'm loving the rugby these days. Noor Diavel, Harsfontein, Cares, of course, JP. I went to watch the biggest derby in the world. Uh, Paul Boys, Boys High. Paul Boys High and Paul Gymnasium and Paul. Uh, 25,000 people at the at the stadium. Gee. 150 rand entry. Um, but I think for me, as we close off this chat, um, congrats to the Springboks and the guys that got selected. Yo, no, yo, jeez. So many guys were left behind as well. But that's a discussion for a different day. I think Kony the same fan in there as well. Um, it's not the same thing it's a gift gift are you saying we must shut down the podcast no I'm just saying we just conclude because who gives who gives giving us who gives says we must conclude we've got five minutes yeah you can't kill the five minutes five minutes yeah, yeah. five minutes who gives we send the same thing yeah so 
It's yeah. trying to silence so, so, us. So we'll we'll chat about authority mostly next time. Yeah, you wanted to um, speak about Dorothy at ESCOM. Yeah, just, and how she's uh, getting death threats as know, a whistleblower. Yeah, yeah, when it hits. And if 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 we were in states, we'd be like, oh, this is Jesse Smollett. She's just trying to get some traction. Yeah. But the reality is, this country valley they'll put hits and then yeah, there was a there was a whistleblower, an Indian <clears throat> lady who was killed for yeah. blowing the whistle on the, the Department of Health. Yeah, so Mandisa Masheho uh, blew the lid on UNISA. Currently, UNISA is under administration. Um, whistleblowers, people that are saying there's a mm -hmm. rot here, and I'm willing to put my neck on the line. And it's yeah. sad because many of us are a way of rubbish, but we're too scared to speak out. Yeah, but yeah, man. Um, Springboks, all, all, all the best with the Springboks. It's just they left. They left yesterday. We're shooting this mm -hmm. on a Sunday. They left yesterday, Saturday. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that there's injuries of which my best rugby player in the world. Is Lukanyo M to me? Yeah. As my, I'm an All Blacks fan. For those that don't know, but my favorite rugby player in the world is Lukanyo, and he didn't make it um, due to injury. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and according to Lukanyo, or sources close to Lukanyo, um, <laughs> his, his his injury is like a three weeks thing, and he can play again. I've so, got theories. You know. So we'll. I've go got theories. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can't come with your conspiracy theories here, Joroken. Mm. I think I know something. You know, so it is what it is, but I'm excited um to to watch um the World Cup. Uh, I don't put too much emphasis on that because I watch sport for entertainment. So regardless of who wins. Or oh, now for entertainment. When I used to be about winning and losing. So cool in the boy. Wait down boy. At all costs. At all costs. Bucky's fucking red card, Bucky's. Yeah. Take yeah. out Johnny Wilkinson. Yeah. He's gone for the is team. Bucky's put a red card, Johnny Wilkinson. <laughs> Nick. Was that this Bismarck on Dan Carter? Moy Biz, Moy Sien. Now you're like, Yammer, Yammer. Moy Sien. Dan is so, so, out. So yesterday I put a late charge on one of the boys at the rack. Ne? That's disgusting. I, no, I did. Ne? It's because you're friends with two and, and and in the Dirty. And in dirty the, players. And so now, and then I get pulled down by this UJ boy. Ne? Mm. So. He's, I hit a late and then he's like trying to, and then he pushes me down. And then obviously for me, I'm just looking at the ref. Come on, ref, ref, ref. That went after being dirty. And I just hear some like three or four UJ boys. I didn't know that they know me. They go, fuck Benson, you're too old to do this. Benson, don't do this. Because I get up and I just go straight to the ref. This guy's trying to grab me and I'm just the ref. And the boys are just like, Benson, you're too old. Because you didn't tell us to say now, now, Shout out to the now, UJ boys, now, man. That's sorry, my alma mater. Guys, guys uh, I'm so embarrassed. Because yeah, be careful of yeah. old bullies, they fucking cheat. Guys, we're, Run we're, around them, tackle we're, them in the we're, throat, we're, 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 and then when you hit them at the we're, bottom, we're, tell them, tell, we're, tell, we're, rem remind them that they're fathers. We're, we're, we're be like, don't, them, don't let me embarrass you in front of your of your boys. We were hitting Penson. them late. We we're hitting them late. Hey, we were hitting them. Late. If you guys play against Penson and you're young, every time you hit them on the ground, be like, don't, don't, don't let us embarrass you in front of your boys. Every way, except for cheating, except for cheating. You guys were cheating, and we need to shut this down. Yeah. Springboks, yeah. congrats to the gents. We love you guys very much. I think just in closing, uh, Sia Kolis, ah, this is so layered. So layered. Sia Kolis, we love you. Magazole, Mapimpi, we love you. Um, we hope, we don't hope. Good luck to the boys going to play. We hope you don't get injured. Hmm? But if Thomas the Tank the Door. In case you feel a little sore, the boys are there, especially towards quarterfinals. So you don't if have you to be feel, a hero. If you feel like your knee is not lacquer, mm. I think by then Andre's knee mm. and Lucanio arm will be lacquer by the time you get to quarters. And just mentally, guys, if you feel like oh, mentally you're overwhelmed as well. Just because it's also that Lucanio arm and Andre and yeah. Luet are ready. Emotionally, if something happens at home, small things. Correct. Love you guys. Pen and pen. We'll catch up with you guys again soon. Looking forward to your comments and suggestions. Shout out to Vape Studios in Spread View. Shout out to Wades, who is new here. Shout out to Gift, Gift I know. in his absence. Shout out to Banzo and shout out to Cats. Love the gents a lot and looking forward to catching up with you guys again soon. Ahoy!